I did want to introduce to you my class. Again, my name is Halima Nash. I'm originally from Compton, California, uh, and I traveled here from Chicago, Illinois, and I taught the art of life balance. So it was very important to Nicole and to Art Saves Lives to ensure that our young people understood the importance of mind, body, and spirit balance. So every morning, first thing in the morning, we came together and I had the entire company of artists. And we talked about worthiness. Knowing that you are worthy, regardless of what happens on your audition, regardless of what happens at school, regardless of what's happening on the right or the left of you, you look yourself in the mirror and know that you are worthy just because you are a human being. We talked. Yeah, give it up. Our young people are worthy. We talked about ambition, about being go-getters, making sure that you realize that no one is going to give it to you. You have to go get it. And we did elevator pictures where they had to learn that most of the time when you're meeting people, you only have the amount of time that you are in an elevator to make an impression. So they stood up and gave their name, where they're from, and their goal and where they want it to be. So we talked about ambition. We talked about having a healthy understanding of failure. And we talked about failure failing better once you do fail because failure is a part of life making sure that you get back up embracing that failure learning from it and allowing it to propel you to the next level of your life we talked about fearlessness and I asked them what decision you would you make what college would you attend what would you pursue as an artist if you weren't afraid I asked them to put the answer of that question at the forefront of their mind and decide, make the conscious decision that they would be fearless and allow what happened in their classes throughout the course of the week to give them an opportunity to exercise that muscle in being fearless. If it's a class that you don't feel like you're that good in, get in the front of the class. You might mess up, you might look silly, but be fearless and allow opportunities to come to you. So we talked about ambitious, we talked about ambition, we talked about fearlessness, we gave elevator pitches, we talked about the importance of being grounded, we talked about the hater block. Everybody is not gonna love what you do. Everyone is not going to embrace your art. Everybody isn't gonna embrace who you are. But it's up to you that it, when those darts do come your way, that you're strong and confident in who you are. So confidence is so important to our young people. Because they might not be getting you are beautiful, you are powerful, you are worth. They might not be getting that every single day. So I wanted to make sure that even if they don't get it every day, that they walk away from the Art Saves Lives Week knowing, knowing that the confidence that they need is right within them. The pump up that they need is right within them. And we did it throughout the week. Every morning we got together. We talked about center, centering yourself rest and the importance of resting your body and honoring your body, loving yourself, loving what you see in the mirror. And why do we talk about balance? Why do we talk about these individual things? Because the human being underneath the art is important to us. The person that you are, the human being that you are is important to us. So of course we want you to be the best dancer or actor or writer or performer or MC or poet. We want you to be the best that you can be. Art Saves Lives is putting these young people, these teens, in front of world-renowned artists. But you know what's more important, more important than that? We want you to be the best young man, young lady that you can be. We want you to take what you learn here and allow that to ground you and make you a better student to make you more balanced and make you appreciate the journey and not get so stressed about the destination. So our hope is that as we journey together throughout the course of this week, that our young people walked away feeling a little more developed, feeling a little more confident, feeling a little more ambitious, feeling like they can give an elevator pitch and introduce themselves and shake someone's hand and give eye contact and be confident in who they are regardless of external factors. So in the art of life balance, my hope is that when they come home and they talk to you, they're not just talking about how, you know, we rapped a little bit in the class, it was cool. 
You know, we, we did our elevator pitches and you know, everybody did an entrepreneurship project. It was really cool, it was awesome. But I, my hope is that you're looking at a young person that learns some things that's going to make them better people in the long run. So that was the art of life balance.